So hello, we're back uh, here with the uh, Fireboat 4. What they're going to be doing is they're going to be showing you uh, what we call a water display. And uh, basically what they're going to be doing is they're going to be operating all of their fire cannons and, uh, and doing a, uh, a, uh, what we call a fire display show for, um, for you. We're here for Fire Service Day. What, when they go into full capacity pumping, it's going to be 9,000 gallons what they're going to be pumping out. But uh, just a little history as it starts to go, uh, as it goes into full capacity, we've actually had two major uh, fires here in the Port of LA. The first one was known as the Cincinnia, and this was a, uh, we, I don't know. Yeah, this was the, the Cincinnia, and this was uh, one of our, a, a fuel tanker, oil tanker that uh, exploded and uh, was able, it was heard from what we understand up to five miles away. And um, so that caused a lot of fire prevention uh, that we have here, where we actually inspect the tanker ships uh, that come in with uh, offload and low fuel. And the other one we just recently had uh, a few years ago was in berth 177. Not too many wood wharfs around, but this one was one of the wood wharfs that is still located in San Pedro. And same thing, we had a, a major fire there that was caused by, from what we understand, uh, somebody was doing some welding. And uh, again, uh, it uh, was maintained with all our fire boats and uh, the assistance of Long Beach uh, to uh, minimal damage what could have occurred. Uh, the last war fire that uh, happened in the United States uh, took uh, uh, almost uh, two weeks to completely extinguish. So what you're seeing right here is uh, Fireboat Fort Gifford. And uh, traditionally what it does, it, uh, it does uh, uh, three rounds, three circles. And um, once it's completed with that, it will shut down comes forward and basically a salute. So there's a lot of tradition that uh, occurs here with, uh, in, in the marine uh, environment with our fireboats. And the background you can be seeing is, again, those are all our containers. Um, we also have in our, uh, on our port uh, the U.S. Coast Guard, uh, we call Sector LA, and we also have uh, one of the federal prisons, uh, Terminal Island, as well as uh, uh, the, what used to be the uh, fish market, um, and soon, hopefully in a few years, we'll have a marine uh, biology uh, um, university that's going to be coming here. So this is 9,000 gallons, which you're seeing uh, being uh, um, on display here. So at any time, if we have a large, why, let's sometimes people ask, well, what do you need all this water for? And um, if you see some of these uh, container ships that come in, we've had them where they're on fire. Uh, the containers inside are catch on fire for whatever type of context they have. And so we'll use this much water to cool off the, uh, the sides of the ship until it can um, be able to the container, the container that's on fire be removed, safely removed, and extinguished separately. Without that, then it would start causing uh, a lot of damage to the, uh, to the ship and, and thus uh, a lot of money. So in a sense, we're saving a lot of these container uh, uh, ships uh, millions of dollars in, in damages and also in uh, the, uh, the need to uh, continue the, uh, the transportation of, uh, of goods. Uh, along with Long Beach, which is our neighboring, uh, between Long Beach and uh, San Pedro Port, uh, it is one of the largest in the world um, for uh, transportation of uh, containers. Uh, one of our other ports we have uh, where they uh, bring in the uh, cars also. So, as you can see, there's a lot of money that, that comes through this, uh, through this port, so a lot of that protection is, uh, is required to keep the economy uh, going with us. Hey Cap, got a question from one of the users. Are those cannons manually operated or uh, electronically? No, these are, all, these are all electronically. The original fireboats were manual. And however, if there is a, uh, a problem where uh, a system goes down, they can also be operated manually. So we have a lot of gear, wheels there that they can be operated. And that's the same thing with our, even our newest boat, the Fireboat 2. So we always have, that's kind of a good question. Uh, one of the things that we need to, that uh, when you become a firefighter is that uh, you always have to find a solution or overcome any type of situation. So if for whatever reason we had some kind of a mechanical or a uh, electrical uh, problem where they couldn't uh, maneuver the fire uh, cannons, they would be able to do those uh, manually also with the, with the pumping capacity. Does it shoot foam? That's another question. Yeah, yeah we. And it also uh, has uh, the capacity for foam, firefighting foam. Um, however, because of the uh, the marine environment, uh, we limit that to only extreme emergencies. Uh, the uh, Fish and Game, Coast Guard, all those entities that are involved with this, uh, try to uh, make sure that uh, the 
the use of foam in, in, in this type of environment. <laughs> So that you know, that's an indication. We give three blasts before we start the water display in case there's any firefighters that are doing firefighter operations, like in, for instance at the Berth 177, where we had to use the, uh, the fire boats to uh, uh, put streams of water into on that berth, and also three blasts when it's done so that they know that it's clear to go in and start coming in with hand lines. Perfect, just a couple questions for you. Um, how many cannons are on the boat? Well, on this cannon, we have up to uh, six, excuse me, on this cannon, on this fire boat, we have up to six uh, um, different uh, cannons and uh, between 500, 250 GPMs, 500 GPMs. And um, so we have, uh, on the fore deck, we have uh, one that's uh, 11,000 GPMs and we have two that uh, operate at 1,000 GPMs both foam and water on the tower, which is the one that's on the top. We have two, which are 5,500 GPMs. On the aft deck, um, we have two 3,500 GPM, and another one for uh, with uh, 3,500 GPMs, which is in the lower deck. And we also have underwarf, which is kind of a unique, and those have two 2,000 GPM uh, uh, manifolds. And then we have the, uh, excuse me, decks, water cannons, and then of course we have uh, firefighting uh, hose complement, and, um, and again, foam. Now the uh, the uh, underwarfs, uh, those were very important that were used during the uh, the birth fire at uh, the war fire, birth 177, as they were able to get uh, water and foam under the uh, under the uh, the wharf, which is usually one of the toughest areas to uh, do firefighting. And again, our divers were a part of that also, where they were able to go in there with um, with uh, dive uh, uh, firefighting headlines. Great. All right, I'll close it out here. Well, I'd like to thank everybody for uh, joining us. Hopefully, uh, we all pray that uh, next year we'll be able to do this. Uh, everybody be able to come by and visit and do it live. But in the meantime, uh, we hope you enjoy uh, the tour of 112's Fireboat 4. And uh, we uh, wish everybody uh, good luck and, uh, and be safe out there. Thank you and have a good day. All right, thank you very much, Captain Gonzalez. I let everyone know uh, we're going to go ahead and end this stream. Uh, I have a lot of questions here, people looking to go to LAFD Air Ops. In fact, that's where we're going next. So if you guys want to keep posted on LAFD, Los Angeles Fire Department, Instagram Live, should be back in about 10 minutes with Firefighter Margaret Stewart at our Fire Station 114 Air Operations. We're going to do a uh, tour of that fire station. We're going to get you out on a training flight. So uh, be ready for that, and I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Take care.